my channel where we do apartment related stuff on Tuesdays and Thursdays and something that I think is fun on Saturdays. I know you guys are used to seeing apartment tours, but today's video is going to be something a little bit different. And the reason is, is because I schedule my tours on like the weekends for the week and they stopped doing tours at 4 p.m. and I get off work at 4 p.m. So I have to do all of my tours on the weekends now. So next Tuesday and Thursday, it'll probably be a, an apartment tour again, but this will be part one of five things that I wish I knew before I got my first apartment. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you're new here, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, like this video, and let's get to it. The first thing is to make sure that you know exactly what you're paying for. Keep a copy of your lease, and I'm talking like a hard copy, not a digital copy. I mean, keep that too, but keep a hard copy because laptops can break. I know there are some apartments where um, they have like, they could potentially have hidden fees. I personally haven't experienced that, but there have been like stories online and stuff like that. When you get an apartment, make sure you know exactly what you're paying for because there are a lot of places they have valet trash that is not free. They have like community fees they have like if you have like uh tava waters that's a really cool place in aurora they have like <sighs> so many activities for the residents. So they have fees for that, like fees for parking, apps for parking. Make sure you pay attention to how much your fees are if you're gonna be late for rent. Just know exactly what you're paying for. At the end of the day, you don't want to end up being screwed over because you weren't thinking or you weren't aware of what the consequences or possibilities were. I feel like that was a terrible explanation for number one, I'm so sorry. And I just want to add on really quick, don't forget that if your rent is $1,700, you're going to have probably an additional $150 to $200 in fees on top of that every month. So it'll actually be like $1,900. <laughs> The second thing, oh my freaking God. I didn't do it for any of the places that I've lived in. And it's crazy to me because after the first place that I lived in, you would think I would look at the reviews. <laughs> um, I actually did look at the reviews after I left to see what other people were saying and they were also having terrible experiences. But the very first apartment that I moved into, mm -hmm. when I moved to Colorado, I obviously wasn't here to like be able to go and do the tours just like a lot of you that watch my videos so I was just looking online and for me there weren't any videos of like any apartments pretty much <laughs> anywhere I was just like going into this totally blind hey all of you when I was like looking online, I had my budget ready or like I thought I was ready to like do all of these things and I found this really cute apartment. It was like 15 to 20 minutes away from CU Boulder in Broomfield. It was a 1030 apartment. I know they're under new management now, so it's probably different, but I had a terrible experience while I was there. Terrible. Just make sure you read the reviews because when I moved in at first, I was so excited. Like I had my first apartment. It was like the size of my living room and kitchen now, if that. <laughs> so it was really small, but I was so excited. It was like 1100 a month. I was like, I got this. Like I'm living life in Colorado by myself one month in or like a couple months in. I like, I was sitting on the floor with my ex-boyfriend at the time and we were like getting our costumes ready for EDC. <sighs> And I swear like, okay, I don't like bugs at all. I do not like bugs. I can spot them from a mile away. No exaggeration. People are always like, how did you see that? I'm like, I literally have like tunnel vision for freaking bugs. Like I can see them everywhere. Well, when they're around, just because I really don't like bugs, they're disgusting. We're sitting on the floor, like putting our costumes together for EDC. And I like see something moving in the carpet. I'm like, what is that? And I turned the light on and I was like, oh my God, it's a 
cockroach! No, no! And I was a pretty clean person. I am like messy with my clothes. I will leave my clothes all over, like literally all over, but dishes, bathrooms, like all of that, that has to be like spotless for me because I get really grossed out. Even when there's like hair in the shower, yeah. I don't know why, I just get super grossed out by it. So it has to be spotless. You know, it wasn't the nicest of places, but it was good. Like I thought it was gonna be fine. After that one cockroach, you guys, I literally had a cockroach problem for eight months. For eight months. No lie, I told the office so many times and they never came to fix it. I called them like a Karen, I'm not even gonna lie because I don't like bugs. Like, how are you gonna let somebody live with bugs for eight months, okay? So I called them like a Karen and I yelled at them. I was like, you guys need to fix this. I've been living with cockroaches, nobody has come. I pay a fee every month for exterminators or extermination, whatever. Why are there bugs here? And it's not coming from me because I'm a clean <laughs> okay, they finally, like six to seven months into the problem, they finally sent somebody to my apartment, but while I was at school in Boulder, and then they called me and they were like, hey, the technician tried to get into your apartment and your dog was just being so aggressive, he couldn't get in. That is a damn lie. I am sorry, that is a damn lie. My dog loves humans. He may have barked because he, don't, he doesn't know who you are. He's literally 20 to 25 pounds on his, his heavy times. And you guys didn't even tell me that anybody was coming. Anyways, they were like, yeah, so we couldn't service your apartment. I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. You guys, I cannot with you. I literally was in class when they called too. I stepped outside and I went Karen on them again, but quietly because I didn't want to embarrass myself. I was like, I swear to God, if you guys don't fix this, I'm gonna like sue or something. I don't know what to say, but this needs to be fixed. I've been asking, putting in requests for eight months. Eight months, because this is disgusting. People cannot live like this. The people next door to me, there were it was a two bedroom and there were like five people living in there. It wasn't amazing, okay? That's it for that one. I just went on a six minute rant for cockroaches. That's why I'm only doing five things in this video, to keep it kind of short. <laughs> I did read somewhere that somebody said like, cockroaches are just a part of apartments. No, that's absolutely not true. If anybody ever tells you that, run the other way because they're lying to you and that's ratchet. The third thing, <laughs> try to look at it in person. There won't be a big explanation for this because I just gave the explanation for the last one. Looking at it in person, you have to like <laughs> try to take a weekend out to go and look at apartments or something if you're moving to a different state because pictures can be really deceiving. You can expect something and get there and it can be trash. That one's pretty straightforward. Let's go on to the fourth thing. Okay, so when you move into an apartment, you they give you this paper and it has like a bunch of stuff for you to fill out to like mark off for your apartment. So my first apartment, my mom was with me, so I actually let her do it because I didn't know what I was doing, but we thought we did a good job. She thought she did a good job. At the end of my lease, they told me that I owed a thousand dollars. I was like, hell no, I am not paying that. I am not paying you guys a thousand dollars. I literally have a video of my apartment. I don't know if I have one when I moved in, but I have one when I moved out and it looks even better than when I moved in because I'm clean. Okay. <laughs> Bye home. I cannot believe that this was filled with all of my shit. Oh, I still need to take that out. Oliver's crate. Like what? Oh my God. So sad. 
This is my first apartment. Oh, I need to take this too. Like I said, I just have clothes everywhere or like makeup around, but I don't leave like the bathroom nasty. I don't leave food all over. Like I, it's gross. Like I can't do that because I, I don't want bugs to come. Like I go to the dollar store and I get those little tiny bottles of bleach and I pour them down my sink like once a month. It'll kill everything in there. <laughs> Just make sure you fill out as much as possible, you guys. They said that the bathtub needed to be replaced. They said that like the countertops needed to be replaced. I barely even cook. What are you talking about? I was not cutting up any countertops. I was not putting any pans on countertops. I ate out a lot. My schedule didn't allow me time to cook. I was busy from 8 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Fill the paper out and honestly, it's kind of deceiving, but fill a little extra out. <laughs> Mark down that there's scratches on the floor, that there's holes in the wall from pins or from a nail or something. Not a nail, cause they, I, I feel like they would see that, but from like push pins or something. Because you're probably gonna wanna hang stuff up. You're probably gonna accidentally scratch the floor at some point and you don't wanna get part of your deposit taken away because of that. So the fifth and final thing is to make sure that you get the apartment that you want. I know that it is hard to pay rent, trust me. Make sure that you get things that are important to you like or that your apartment has things that are important to you because otherwise you're gonna be sitting there in your apartment like dang I wish I had a washer and dryer in here because I'm tired of running downstairs when it's five degrees to go and get my clothes not to mention people are dirty you don't know what people are washing off their clothes and I mean yes they're washing their clothes, but that's a no-go for Tosh. And it should be for you guys. That's why I make it a priority for you to find places that have washer and dryers in units. Just make sure that you get the things that are important to you. Like for me, I do enjoy really nice features, but I think my absolute like no negotiations, natural lighting, washer and dryer, no carpet. I don't know how five things turned into 20 minutes of me talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to click that button down below, subscribe, become a member of my squad, and please like this video because it means the world to me. I will definitely be posting the part two, but like this video if you want me to post the part two with 10 things and maybe with a guest, with a friend. For now, I will see you guys on Saturday for organizing my closet. It's Thursday and I still have not done that, so I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow. Okay, bye. Nobody else,